Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 versus 1 bot AI cast. We have got ourselves what should be a good one here today. It is another bot author recommended replay. So that gives me a good feeling about this one. In the bottom right, part of a new series of bots, it is Mini Terran. Not, uh, not its, I guess, sibling bots, Mini Zerg or Mini Protoss. Mini Terran. And we're gonna see how Mini Terran does today. Whoa, ho, oh, weird graphic. What is going on there? That is, that is an odd one. Is it just that base? Am I gonna be able to cast this? <laughs> that is, huh. Starcraft 2, like, it's, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, there's some weird water textures over here. Let me just check it out. Okay. Doesn't look like there's too many broken textures, so I think we're good. Uh, <laughs> so, we have got, uh, yeah, Lissy in the top left. Gonna be taking on Mini Terran. I believe I have cast Lissy in the past. It's definitely been a bit, though, so I'm excited to see how that goes. It's kind of like this Zerg base is just in the void as well. Uh, I hope this isn't too hard for anyone to watch. We've got a spawning pool on the way. But yeah, more importantly, a TVZ and in this TVZ. Uh, we shall see which bot comes out on top. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we get too far in this video, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. Let's go for one like for every graphical glitch on this map. And then subscribe to the channel if you are not. Consider becoming a YouTube member if you, uh, <laughs> if you enjoy that, if you enjoy the content and want to support it. And leave a comment down below saying more bugs more bugs <laughs> okay now the game's kicking off with a double racks opening from mini terran lissy being very well mannered so far mini terran being mute and yeah double racks reaper definitely a strong build in tvz we'll see how well mini terran's reapers are gonna micro as that is of course very important how well lissy will defend against it i believe uh mini terran did get some good damage done with the reapers in the previous game so we'll see if Lissy is going to be on point with its defense or not. Oh. Oh, is it the creep that's bugged? Look at that. That's so weird. The creep is just... its It looks even scarier than creep does. That is just nothing but blackness. <laughs> the void will consume. Lots of drones being pulled against this Reaper. Not necessarily great for Lissy. That's a lot of lost mining time. Lings are chasing down this Reaper. We'll see if that queen can finish it off. Is there another queen to go for the kill? She is a little bit confused, though, going up the ramp. when she definitely could have killed that Reaper. Does the Reaper turn and get itself killed? It turns. It eats a hit, but it had just gained a little bit of HP. Stays alive. Two drones are in, in tow. And yeah, so... This is uh, this. I apologize if this is gonna get hard to watch. These drones really want blood as they are chasing this Reaper a good distance. Lissy's got some defensive behavior to pull the drones, but it might be a little bit overzealous. Like it's just one Reaper guy. Oh no, these drones! They're like, let's get a voice. Okay, there needs to be more of us. These guys are also a little bit confused. And looks like Lissy is going to take a few drone losses. Queen tries to kill this Reaper. It's probably a very good thing for Lissy's sake that Mini Terran stop building at simply one Reaper. So the two racks is interesting. The fact that it went two racks and then just right into uh, Reapers. It's also got the so common SCV hugging this command center. Siege tank on the way. Lots of Marines being produced. We'll see if Mini Terran's planning an early push potentially. This Reaper is up to six kills, three drones, four lings. Tell me how that adds up to uh, how that adds up to seven. I'm guessing one of these Marines must have killed killed the ling or something. Anyway, yeah, Reaper <laughs> dragging this queen all the way off creep. Lissy's unit control. Not terrible. Maybe could use a little bit of work as far as like having a home and not not over committing. Oh, it does actually get the Reaper. So there's egg on my face. This queen will now begin the trek home. 
Okay, and we have got Mini Terran potentially moving out for some aggression. Is this just to secure a base? No, it is actually going for an attack. We pull up that production tab, we'll see that there's spores being made. Lissy is worried about harassment when, in reality, it's just going to be a big attack coming its way. There's five queens, 11 lings, so not a huge amount of units. Then again, it's not a ton of Terran units crossing the map, just a handful of marines in one siege tank to support them. The tank also gets baited into sieging up by those lings running out. That's going to delay the push a little bit. In goes six marines. There's potentially two overlords that are going to be easy to grab. Uh, yeah, two dead overlords. Uh, funnily enough, the creep tumors look completely normal. Lings going to be surrounding this tank, so that is going to go down. It's really going to be all on these marines to get some damage done. However, it's not all the marines going for the attack. It was only six of them, so them going home is probably going to be their best bet. A third base will be going up for Mini Terran, so a bit of a poke, but then it retreats. It's also got a Raven on the way, which I love to see. The control of the Raven will be important. It can really be a big asset for the Terran bot, of course, if that groups up with armies properly. Not an easy thing to program, but will pay, will pay in dividends for the work the bot author put in, because clearing up creep against a Zerg bot that can endlessly spread its creep is quite difficult. We've got a random scan for Mini Terran, I guess just checking for a third base location. A lair is on the way now for Elyssi. So that lair potentially going to unlock that Roach speed upgrade or other tech down the line. There is Burrow on the way. Zerg missile attack on the way. And uh, yeah... We'll see if Lissy is going to be one of those Zerg bots that really, really utilizes Burrow or not. It is a common thing. But of course, they all do it a little bit differently. Engineering Bay going up for Mini Terran. It's got double E bays, the third about to finish up. There is Combat Shield done on, on these Marines. There is no Stim Pack, so that might not be something that's used here. There's also no wall for Mini Terran, so potential Ling run bys could get some damage done. The bunker, though, helped out there. And uh, the handful of things that ran in didn't get too much done. Lissy is going up to a fourth base, continuously spreading darkness across the map until eventually there'll be nothing but blackness on this map here, as the creep tumors constantly spreading the overlords, even spreading the spreading the goop. And now, yeah, let's see, overlord. Trying to scout out. So Lissy does have scouting behavior. How much reaction has Scott program? I'm not too sure. It is making a good number of units. It's at a healthy worker count, as a matter of fact. So a very normal macro game. At this point in the TVZ, I'd say the pressure is probably going to be on Mini Terran to get something done. As, uh, yeah, the Zerg will usually just expand way too much for the Terran to handle if left to its own devices. We'll see how much Lissy is going to macro up. It has stopped at that 68 drone mark, so we'll have to pay attention to how many more it's going to make. I love how all the overlords are just going to start puking. Just like, all right, let's 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 lag out laughing Games' computer as much as possible. More drones are being produced, though. The fourth, pretty well saturated. We'll see if there's going to be a fifth. That's a ling. And there is actually a fifth base going to be on the way for Lissy. Mini Terran. Building up lots of tanks, getting energy on that Raven still, making lots of Marines. And yeah, it is making Medivacs as well, which I find interesting. The fact that it's making Medivacs but not getting Stim is a little bit odd to me. Like, how much benefit are you really going to get out of the Medivacs if you're not Stimming around? But who's to say? Anyway, I do like that it is a Terran bot playing Bio. That's not something we see every game, so... We'll see if Mini Terran is going to be able to play a macro TVZ against Lissy or not. As lots of Lings running in for a counter or for a bit of harassment by Lissy. They all go down, get some scouting information. We've got three Reapers on the way for Mini Terran. That is odd. That is very, very odd. The choice to make three Reapers nine minutes into the game. Will there be more queued up? Who's to say? Maybe some wires got crossed or something. Anyway, we've got a scan going down with the Raven. So some creep is being cleared up. It looks like Mini Terran's got pretty good behavior with that, keeping the Raven with this. A bit of redundant scans as the scan goes down while the Raven is right there. So there's a bit of waste 
but that would be something that would be a bit tricky to program, I imagine. Anti-armor missile going down. Those Zerg units getting covered in Cheeto dust. Kind of highlighted against the extra black background. But man, that Terran attack got cleaned up very handily. The Raven even perished in that attack. It wasn't even much of a fight, more of a slaughter. One siege tank out there, one Marauder trying to deal with these queens. There's also this force moving down here. The tanks will be will have a big role to play in this attack as they're sieging up and it really will be on the tanks to deal damage to the Zerg army as uh, bots do have a tough time dealing with them. Tanks sieging up, the Terran bio retreating as Mini Terran is pushed back. Lissy stepping off of creep towards these tanks but there's not much of a buffer for them so they are all going to get taken out here and they all perish. So solid, solid cleanup by Lissy dealing with both these attacks, just being on the defensive. We'll see if it's going to go on the offensive here. Mini Terran is changing it up, making three Liberators at a time. They could have more success in the Siege Tanks. We'll see if they're going to be used for harassment as well, potentially. Liberators are an incredibly powerful harassment tool. And now, let's see, Tutu is on the way. There is just a Lurker on the way. Lots of upgrades getting researched. Marines randomly walking out onto the map as the creep is now spreading. It is almost touching the door of Mini Terran, as close as it's going to get, I think. Mini Terran still just replacing lots of its units. It is on four bases. No planetaries, notably, so it could potentially be vulnerable to some harassment. We've also got Liberators flying around. Where are those Reapers? Two of them died. I'm not sure <laughs> what they got done at all. But really, this is just a very respectful macro game. Things have really gone the way of Lissy so far. Resources lost are in favor of the Zerg, which is not good for the Terran. We've got three more Reapers on the way, which is just so weird. But both bots building up, both bots getting lots of upgrades. Mini Terran is going to be getting that fifth base on the way. The AI will always, forever, be body blocking their own expansions. It's just, it's just a bot thing. If you uh, wanted to make a Turing test, just ask ask it to build a base and see if it blocks it with a worker. Now, Marauders, Marines moving down to respond to this attack. There is Liberators set up, getting some big shots off on the primarily Roach army. There really isn't an answer to all these Liberators, as a matter of fact. I guess all the Hydras just died immediately or died prior to this attack. Liberators, yeah, gonna get some big shots off on these Roaches, kill them quite easily. Some of the Roaches burrow, they get scanned quite promptly. I believe there was another Raven, but that did go down. Command Center is burning, and, but it's being repaired quickly by Mini Terran, so it's good to see it's got that behavior. And all of a sudden, we're seeing one of these scenarios in which it's the defensive bot that's coming out on top. Lissy really trying to flood units in here. Probably going to want to pull back on the throttle a little bit as it's having no success with every other unit it sends in. We've got one Ling attack in here. Great Liberator set up to actually defend that. That's really great to see Mini Terran utilize those Liberators to the full extent. We have got a six base going up for Mini Terran. Meanwhile, Lissy has really taken all its bases on its side of the map. Lurkers are now on the way. More Reapers are on the way. I really do not know what the Reapers are doing in this army. <laughs> it's just this one that's still alive. Marines engaging into a Lurker. A scan goes down. I will say I'm really impressed by the scanning and detection behavior of Mini Terran. I'm quite impressed by its behavior just overall. We do see another attack coming on in for Lissy. Mini Terran's army is kind of out of position. It's dealing with the creep down here. I'm trying to clear that before it builds the base. The creep is spreading immediately though as uh, more creep dies. We've got some worker damage being done by Lissy. Lissy hit a hard cap seemingly of 100 drones, which is a nuts economy. It will be able to keep on trading out non-stop. This command center is potentially going to get killed. That could be disastrous for Mini Terran. Nothing repairs it in time, so well done by those lurkers. A few bio units moving forward to get on top of these. And once again, just the unit control. And the need for detection is really impressive with this Raven getting on top of these lurkers for Mini Terran. We see the Liberator still doing a lot of work, getting many, many free shots off, mainly uncontested. There's definitely some hydras out but they all just keep dying there's been oh i mean eight hydras that have died this game i guess they're getting turned into lurkers and not brought into the fight and that could be part of the problem here for lissy if it's not realizing that it needs anti-air 
that can be really problematic. So I'll keep an eye on these Hydras and see if they all just turn into Lurkers or if they're just not having success. Lissy hasn't changed up its composition in a while, but its brute force may actually be working here as it really is just these Liberators for the Terran bot defending. <laughs> We've got Hydras turning into Lurkers right in the middle of the battle. There's one Hydra moving forward into the Liberators. It gets shot down, so these li Liberators are really just the last defense for Mini Terran. There's not a lot else left for this Terran bots. The, the trades haven't been going great for it. Losing that base was, of course, a big blow. No planetary fortresses it means it's quite vulnerable here. A bit of Ling harassment does get cleaned up by some burly SCVs. Roach and Hydra attacking here. SCVs really want to get into the fight, though. We've had some aggressive workers this match on both sides. Now, Mini Terran constantly repositioning its Liberators. It's got seven to its name right now. It, <laughs> we see more of these Hydras abandoning their role as anti-air, choosing to just lurk around and become lurkers. The Zerg really is trying to breach this natural though. SCV is choosing to fight instead of repair the bunker, it seems. More lurkers moving forward, and I think Mini Terran may just be running out of gas. A bit of harassment to the space up top here a bit more hydra and roach harassment and just the insane economy trickle of lissy was able to bring down mini terran i guess it's units unit trades other than the liberators were not that good for it and that's a little bit unfortunate i feel both bots played a really good game here but i think that lissy has played it out all in all two really solid bots they're not the top of the they're not the absolute top bots but they have really good fundamentals here so well done to the programmers and yeah liberator getting shots off but there's there's no eco left for mini terran at this point it makes me wonder should mini terran build a planetary for like its fifth or its sixth base there's a lot of return on those i think just killing the third really started to seal the fate of mini terran <laughs> the liberators have done so much work here but there's just no economy left and uh yeah Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this one, hit that like button. I do apologize for the bug creep. I hope it wasn't too weird. It just uh, reminds me of playing like some old modded game, which the textures are just a little bit buggy. But yeah, hit that like button. Leave a comment saying more bugs, more bots if you want to see, see more of these bot games. Join the Discord, which is linked down below. Consider becoming a YouTube member if you do want to support the channel. And uh, yeah. Let's see how many Liberators are left. There's currently four left fighting the good fight. But uh, the money shall run dry. Lissy maybe needs to work on its anti-air a little bit, on its unit control a tiny bit, but all in all it was able to get the job done. The Flood Zerg strategy, impressive as always. I really liked the speed it got the Spore Crawlers too defensively. And uh, yeah, that is going to be that. Mini Terran still fighting out. One Rax making a reactor.